I'm a mother, a wife, a creep, a friend, an employee. I'm many things to many people. I live a busy, rich and sometimes messy life and I often have to convince people that I'm happy. They assume my wheelchair and my disability means that my life is bad and they tell me sometimes that if they were me, they would want to die. There is so much talk about dying with dignity and so many voices who say that in Australia we should have that right, but we regularly fail to provide people with good quality palliative care at the end of their lives. And if we do, it isn't anywhere near the standard it should be. And I actually work in aged care, so that's an experience I have often in the course of my work. Um, and it's bizarre to me that there is so much support for assisted suicide and seemingly so little for the better support for people while they are still alive, that the preference is to kill people off rather than to ensure that they are able to live in comfort in a place of their choosing for whatever time they have left. And I wonder if the people who support this legislation would feel the same if they were assured that they would be provided with the comfort and support they need when the end of their life becomes near. Would they still feel so strongly about these laws? Would these calls to have control over their life when they die quieten down if they've had better control over it and how they live? And as disabled people, we know only too well how little support there can be. We know that the disability support system in each state is like a lottery and often it is those with the loudest voices that receive the support they so desperately need, leaving the most marginalised in situations that are dangerous on many levels. This lack of support has such a negative impact on people's lives and it's easy to imagine how those people might choose assisted suicide without it. I actually don't believe it is much of a choice at all. If your basic needs are not being met and you are left without a shower or to sleep in your wheelchair at night, or if you don't even have a wheelchair and are isolated from the world because of any or all of these things, you might not think your life is worth living. And at a time when the disability sector is being reformed with the introduction of NDIS, we need to be focused on making sure that everyone who needs support receives support. We cannot say that people have a choice when they are forced into lives that are filled with crisis and trauma due to accident, illness or injury because their needs are repeatedly denied. For some disabled people, people like me, disability has always been a part of our lives. My disability is degenerative and the people who call for assisted suicide laws could probably use me or Sam or Glenda as a perfect example of why we should change the law in Australia. This legislation puts us at risk. I've spent a lifetime hearing the assumptions and judgments about me and my life. I live with the low expectations and I have suffered because of them. It is hard work always rising above those expectations and it will be even harder if people begin expecting us to want to access assisted suicide. And they will because they see so little value in us to begin with. I have, I have suffered so much more from these assumptions than I have from my body that is different to most people's. Different is so often interpreted as bad by the people who sit in the majority, that is, the people who are not disabled. I'm scared that the people who see so little value in disabled persons' lives will be the same people deciding who should die under this legislation. The lowest of expectations often come from the medical profession, and here we are talking about letting them have this extra power over us. <coughs> How do we plan to ensure that their bias about the quality of our lives don't end up causing our deaths? Because that is something that already happens in medical settings over the world. I'm scared that people like me will be killed when really what they need is quality support. They need to know that they are valued and valuable and we fail at that and we fail at it, fail at, it at a lot. Before you pass legislation that allow us to die, please make sure that we have the right to live. Naomi, did you